Hello. In this video, we're going to show you how to quickly set up your DigiCert code signing certificate on a SafeNet token. It's just a quick few minute process. Let's get started. Whether it's the e-token you got from DigiCert or a FIPS compatible SafeNet token you already own, have it ready for the code signing setup. The FIPS compatible hardware tokens recognized by DigiCert are a SafeNet Gamalto e-token, 5100 and 5110. If you are still waiting for your token delivery, save this video for when you're ready and have it on hand. To begin the token setup, go to the order details page and click on the USB token setup button. Attach the USB token into your computer and watch as the blue light begins to glow on the hardware. Click on next. Download and run both the SafeNet authentication client and DigiCert hardware certificate installer as listed below. Once you click on Download SafeNet Authentication Client, you'll be redirected to DigiCert support pages for downloading the SafeNet setup package. Simply select your operating system and download the package. Once your download is complete, install the tool on your system. In this case, we're installing it on a Windows computer. Read and accept the license agreement and continue with the installation process. Then finish the setup wizard. When you click the DigiCert hardware certificate installer, it will automatically download the setup.exe file to your system. Run the installer exe file. You will see the hardware installer's welcome page. Click on next. Accept the license agreement and click next. The next page will ask for an initialization code Return to the USB token setup page and check the box next to I'm ready to install my certificate. Click Next to proceed. To initiate the DigiCert hardware certificate installer process, you must retrieve the initialization code from the designated page. You need this code for the first step of the installation process. Note that this initialization code is only displayed once, so be sure to save it. Now return to the hardware installer screen. Enter the initialization code and click Next. To proceed, select Reinitialize My Token. Permanently delete any existing certificates and keys and then click Next. On the key information page, make the appropriate selections based on your requirements. For most users, the default option of RSA 4096 bit is the best and is compatible with the most systems. If you need to use a different key type though, you can change the settings, add a token name, and set your token password. On the next screen, you'll see the option for an administrator password. While you can change the administrator password for the token in the SafeNet client, altering the default administrator password is not recommended. Doing so may permanently lock the token if the password is lost. Once you click Finish, the certificate will be installed on the SafeNet token. Some steps may take a few minutes to complete during the certificate installation process. Do not remove the e-token until the entire process is finished. You can close the software once the installer confirms the installation was successful. To complete the process, return to the USB token setup page and check the box, confirming that you have successfully installed the certificate and saved your password. You're all set. Your DigiCert code signing certificate is ready to use.